Junior welterweights Jose Pedraza and Mikhail Lipier squared off tonight in the main event at the bubble at MGM Grand in Las Vegas, Nevada. As this headline, the ESPN telecast. In the opening bout of the ESPN telecast, two-time Olympic gold medalist Robesi Ramirez won a unanimous decision over Adan Gonzalez. This was a rematch as Gonzalez spoiled Robesi's pro debut. Robesi Ramirez was just solid in there. He looked very improved under new trainer Ismael Sala. Boxing well, very smooth, much different from the first fight. As he worked his way to the decision went, Robesi Ramirez now three and four and one with three knockouts as Adan Gonzalez dropped five, three, two with two knockouts. Heavyweight Kings of eBay fighting for the second time in a week, won a majority decision over Patrick Mailata in going six rounds. It was one of those fights where right off the bat, eBay let go. He was busy letting his hands go, connecting solidly. Mailata was off to a slow start. However, he began to close the gap as his pressure he stood close to eBay. At times, backing him to the rope, smothering him, landing some big shots, but was very limited with his offense. Late in the fight, eBay appeared to be tired. However, his jab and his willingness to let his hands go is what did it. As eBay now improves his record, the 5-1, 4 knockouts. Mailata goes to 4-1, 2 knockouts. Dominican junior walkaway prospect Elvis Rodriguez of Santo Domingo in the Dominican Republic made quick work of Daniel Murray. A quick right by the Southpaw Rodriguez drilled Murray as Murray appeared to break something. I believe it could have been an orbital bone. Going down as the referee ended his count, waving about at 2.13 of the first round. Rodriguez improves 7-0, one draw, and seven knockouts. And he's also trained by Hall of Fame trainer Freddie Roach. Toledo, Ohio junior lightweight prospect Albert Val was smooth winning a unanimous decision over Filipino Mark Fernandez. One of those fights where Val was just the better skilled fighter. Much taller, using his jab, keeping his distance. There was really no offensive production from Bernaldez. Dow, very tall fighter for a junior lightweight, now improves his record 17-0, five knockouts. Dow appeared to have hurt his right hand in the ninth round. In the main event, Junior welterweights Jose Pedraza of Puerto Rico and Mikel Lapierre squared off in a 10 round bout. Pedraza was sharp from the opening bout as he unloaded on Lapierre early in, in the fight. Lapierre with his back up against the ropes shouted up. It appeared that Pedraza was on his way to a stoppage as referee Kenny Bayless looked in closely, but the action continued. And in the fifth, LaPierre scored a knockdown. However, Pedraza returned the favor, knocking down LaPierre with a right. Interestingly, in between rounds, the instant replay was in effect as the officials re reviewed and later reversed the ball as LaPierre and Pedraza's feet were tangled. The second half of the fight was all Pedraza as he was just a dominant. LePierre appeared to be cut on his right eye, but Pedraza wasn't finished as he sent LePierre to the canvas late in the 10, finishing strong, working his way to a unanimous decision. For Pedraza, he improves his mark. 27 and 3, 13 knockouts. Looking 
for another world title shot down the line. The Pierre drops 22-2-1.